Hey, this is Bug Pallet Dust. Thank you for joining me for another episode of Astroneer, episode three to be precise. And at the end of the last episode, we finally got our tractor, which means that uh, we can now get to further distances without too much bother. Now, just dropped overnight or this morning, they dropped a mission to do with space snails. Now, I know absolutely nothing about this. But um, apparently a new mission dropped, and I'm not sure if that's got to do with the snails, because it does mention the snails somewhere. No, oh, interesting. Okay. Ah, oh, no, this is it. Gather sphalerite. Samples of sphalerite are needed to initiate local fauna examinations, and the item is something unknown. So I'm like, hmm, okay, we'll track that. That looks very interesting. Okay, gather sphalerite. So let's just do that, because this could be potentially quite interesting. Now, if I remember correctly, sphalerite is found in the caves. Let me just double check that because it's been a few days since I've played the game and uh, my memory is not what it used to be. Silver in the caves. Okay. So what we're going to do is go down into the caves. We have a cave down here, which is pretty good with our uh, extra special. Was it down here or was it one of the other caves? It wasn't this one. It was um, further afield. I'll tell you what we'll do. I'm pretty sure it's this one. Yeah, this is the one. With the broken tether. So let's set that back up. Beautiful. Right, let's go hunting for sphalerite. So down in the caves again. And uh, we'll see what we can find. There was some sphalerite down here. But uh, let's try and find a little bit more. So let's just check out that direction. I realise I don't have many tethers with me. Or compound for that matter. So let's just... Um, ah, I think there's some sphalerite there, which is perfect. So let me just stretch this out properly. And um, let's just crack on with this. Sphalerite looks a bit like compound. So from a distance, that might actually be compound, come to think of it. No, it's sphalerite. Perfect. Well, that was easy, wasn't it? One. Two. And one more. Three. Fantastic. All right, let's get back. Let's, uh, let's do our mission for the snakes. Snakes, snails even. No, I don't have any more uh, any more tethers. That's fine. All right, so we've got the three sphalerite. Let's head back up. A bit slow going. I'm curious to see what these space snails are all about. I've purposely not read much about them at all, other than they exist. And uh, there's a mission for them. So very curious to see this. A little bit of a sidetrack, but I think that's what Astrid is all about. Getting sidetracked. All right. So let's just take a look. Bait and switch, ready to collect. Yep, please. Hello. Wow. <laughs> What's that? Strange object. Kronos case file. F. Hold to use. Kronos case file. Fate of the, fate of the ESS Triton. Please deploy at a safe distance from launch pad. Oh wow! Look at that. That looks really good. A safe distance. Well. What is a safe distance? Your guess is as good as mine. I can rotate it using CMV. Safe distance from the launch pad. Well, I think over here somewhere is probably a safe enough distance. Okay. Now, how do I do this then? All right, let's see what this does then. Okay, and there it is. F, hold and use. Mm. Quick run! <laughs> we don't know what it is. Oh, okay. Very excited. Up, oh, updated. Place and activate. Okay, we've done that. An abandoned facility once used to house and study biological samples. It's still partially functional and may contain certain useful information. All right, so got a couple of new missions off the back of it. We've got a cable plug. We've got lab records and analysis. Inactive. So clearly it needs some power, but this is the, the thing that I'm drawing from this. And it has a little socket there, so we can plug a maybe a generator into it. And this all looks very interesting. Okay. And obviously it needs an oxygenator there as well. So we'll have to make one of those potentially. Oh, what's this? Haha, <laughs> as luck would have it, there's an oxygenator. Okay. That works. Alright, let's have a look at this side. Interesting, we have... Oh, that's nothing special. Okay. We'll take those while we're here. Always keen to get bites. Alright, this does look very interesting indeed. Oh, I've got some stuff in the ground. Looks like toots, but... Stay free. All right. So what we'll do is just bring that up again. Hang on. Smooth that over. All right. Well, let's take a quick look at the mission log and see what has been updated. Okay. So, breath of fresh air. 
So we've done that. We can collect those bikes. Thanks very much. And we've done that. Collect a power cell. Alright, now I'm. Increases your power capacity. Okay, breath of fresh air. We've done that one. Complete. Alright. Oops. So let's find out the two new ones it gave us. Retooling. Jumper cables, that was it. Provide power to the Xenia Biology Lab on silver. It needs internal power charge. Find a working cable port on its structure. Right. I mean... What does he mean by find? This means touch. Attach it to something. I assume he's attached it to something. Okay, do we have a spare power adapter kicking about here? I mean, we have a, we have a power... Yeah, a small generator there. Right, let's take a couple of these things as well, because we might need them. And we'll put the power generator, we'll plug that into... We'll plug that in over here. Hmm. Right, let's stick the... Oh, can do that. And then... Turn on. Battery charging. Ah, provide power. There we go. It's a beautiful thing. the tune. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> Didn't recognise the tune. I'm sure we'll come back to that. Uh, okay, so it looks like we provided power. That's a good start. Okay, jump cables. Yep, take more bikes. Alright. Right, retooling. Know thy galastropod. That's the next one. Use a data log to activate the Xenobiology Lab's trigger. Access the data log. Attach the Xenobiology Lab to learn more about the wreck. Okay. The data log attached. Right, so where is the data? Oh, it's, is it showing me to it? Hang on. Hmm. Must be this. Data log. Ah, I see. Okay. Right. Uh, that's been done. My research continues on my route to Lubos Prime. This is the first time working with the natal... The natal... Not native. Natal specimens before they've undergone environmental adaptation. All seven galastropods remain in good health. Nothing substantial to report. A personal note. I question the value of our current mission. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Crewman now is now taking spending all his free time in the nursery interrupting my work. His insipid cooing and insistence on naming them is irritating. <laughs> all right. So it looks like there's lots of things to read here. I'm not going to go through them all. But um, we have one, one sp specimen that's been unlocked. That's very interesting. Let's not have to run backwards and forwards. Let's have a quick look at... That'd be the wrong one. So, know thy, know thy glastropod. Okay, retooling. G silver shells. Retrieval of local glastropod requires data. Find and scan its discarded shells in the forest of silver. This sounds interesting. All right, we'll do that. So we've... Um, ah, look, and our sh the shells are on the, uh, on the map here, which is quite handy. All right, let me collect my reward first. I can't seem to get rid of this. I thought I did that by pressing R. That's, that's odd. I guess I've got to do it the hard way. All right. So we'll collect the oxygen filters. Boink. And we're going to go for the shells, which are now obviously happily on my compass. So there's some up here by the looks of it. Not too far away. Is that one down there? That certainly looks like it. Oh, cool. One of five. Right, there's a couple over there. I must Keep an eye on my oxygen. So I'm not seeing these in the game before. That's quite nice. Nice that the developers are still adding content to this. Bearing in mind that the game is, uh, what, five years old now. It's quite impressive, really. Loads of shells around. All right, done. Okay. That's that done. Let's go back. New mission, G-Silver Terrarium. So that's like a, a place to hold them in, I guess. What terrarium appears to be. An empty terrarium. Yeah, yeah. Doink. <laughs> Watch it, it's glass. Very cool. Okay. Provide terrain with soil and zinc and a bounce vine seed. It requires a mobile... Yep, okay. So soil and zinc. Right, do we have any zinc on here? I think we might do. Zinc is um, from Sphalerite, so we can get some of that straight away by smelting it. And soil we can get from the ground... Can, uh, I can do that here, basically. 
In fact, my sword canisters is actually full. All right. So how do I? Right. So if I take that from there and plop it on here, there we go, beautiful, and stick that back on here, and go over here and grab the, that's still being done, not much longer, alright cool, grab that zinc and come back over here and put the zinc on the, on there. Outstanding. What else do we need then? Is that not it? I was going for the wrong one. Go away and come that one. Alright. Oh, the bounce find seed. Okay. So where do you get the bounce find seed from? Not sure what a bounce find seed is. I'm hoping it'll be on my compass somewhere, maybe. Bounce find. Huh. Doesn't seem to be on here. What is a bounce find seed? I'm gonna have to go and look that up. Be back in a sec. Yeah, it was staring me in the face the whole time. Bounce find is some of the natural hazards that you find here. Now it says it's found mostly in the mountains, and they are kind of little plants with red red feelers on. So let's, for the sake of speed and oxygen, let's head over here. So I know exactly what I'm looking for because I've seen them around so much you tend to stop seeing them. So we're going to go and grab that. I haven't come out this far yet. Very cool. I've got lots of stuff out here that I can potentially get. Right. It's mostly found in the mountains. So what is that? Good grief. I've never seen one of those before. Wow, I've never seen one of those. That's insane. I have not seen one of these before. That's well impressive. I'll definitely grab that though. Research on, take that back with me. Oops, missed. That's, does not. Does it not sit on here happily? That's interesting. Hang on, if I fold that up, does it sit on here now happily? No, it doesn't. Oh, it sits on there, but not on... Oh, okay. So it likes two, two in a line, but it won't sit on this. Hmm. Alright, that's fine. We can come back to this. So there's loads of debris here. And that's that's really cool. I love that. That's like a launch pad of some sort. Very nice. Alright, totally sidetracked, as always. Alright, so this up here is bounce vine. This thing here. Oh, packager. Grab that. Okay, this is bounce vine. So, as we can see, uproot to harvest seeds. Fab. Okay, let's grab those. Grab a couple of those. That was relatively straightforward. And this thing is awesome. I love it. Okay, so it's basically just towards the mountains, sort of straight from my base, and I can find my way back. I could make a beacon, but I don't. Uh, I don't want to get sidetracked too far. Let's see what else is here very quickly. Got dynamite. We got uh, take the copper. Oh, backpack's full. Yeah, it is, isn't it? All right, that's fine. We'll come back for this. No problem at all. This is really, really very interesting. Love it. All right, let's get back on the tractor. We'll head back to base. And we can carry on with our, with our mission and try and find the space snails. I thought I had three trailers. Can you imagine that? <laughs> Can't remember now. All right, let's head on back. It's a very pretty, this game. Okay, done. Let's put the bounce vine seed into there. We have another one here. Okay, that's done. So the terrarium is looking quite cool now. Very pretty. New mission. All right, what have we got? So we've got that one. We can get a small trumpet horn. I'm sure, that would be very useful. Right. Um, oh no, it is. Attach a small horn to the terrarium. Oh, it lures them in. Ah, <laughs> that's brilliant. That's so cute. I love it. Put 
perform proper emotes for G Silver. Okay. G. Oh, he's singing. That's so cute. Um. <laughs> he's shaking his head. Okay, let's try another one. <laughs> Do you know, given my normal output, I can't imagine anything further away from RimWorld than this. I'm dancing for a snail, which is um, judging me based on my dance moves. Nope. Oh, we found it. Outstanding. There we go. Oh. Where's he gone? Is he is he inside now? No. Oh, he's. Oh, do I have to do it again? Do I? More dancing required. So is it the same one I've got to do? Was it seven? Yeah. Um. Okay. Can I pick him up? Okay, he didn't like that. I must keep an eye on my oxygen. Whoa! Okay, what are we doing? Am I just more dancing, is it? No. Gosh. I can't pick him up. Use terrarium to... Oh, right, okay, so I've done the dancing, I just need to pick him up now. Use the terrarium. There you go, in you come. How do I get the terrarium to pick him up? Oh, effing holes. It even says it. Doink. Oh, I feel bad now. Stuck him inside this. <laughs> uh boy. Right. My, um... Yeah. This is too cutesy for me. Alright, great. So the terrarium's done. And that's there. Looks like we have another mission. I'm going to take the horn off my backpack. Because I don't want to carry that around with me. I think it's unnecessary. All right, what else have we got going on then? So, GSOL verification. Uh, we've got a requires input slot for analysis. Okay, so we can take you, the terrarium, and stick it on the input slot, which is probably the one my generator is in now. I'd have thought. Take that out of there. Stick that in there. Yes, yes. There we go. And I hope it's, I hope they're not harming it. You'll be all right, my friend. You'll be all right. It's all good. Done. Okay. Fantastic. New mission tracking power. Let's take a look at that one. All right, so that one's done. We collect 250 bytes. Tracking power. Uh, provide more power to the Xenobiology Lab and then use the data log to activate the tracker. We've got to locate other gastropods. All right, so let's take that off there. Let's stick that on there. Give it more power. I'm assuming maybe full power. There we go. Done. And check out more gastropods. So we've got to get the Usagi and the still guy now. Shells. Now, the, the benefit of the snails, from what I understand, um, is that they give you things to help with your uh, exploration. So that's... That could be quite interesting. Rewards. Did I not collect that? Oh, I've got to go to the launch pad to collect the rewards because they land on the launch pad. Alright. Okay, so that's that done. Um, have I not collected these rewards? Oh no, I haven't actually done them. Uh, feed your galastropod uh, through seeds. So I need to do those. In the meantime, I can collect shells for the other types of... 
Okay. Eat any seed. Right. So if I if I feed it the uh, what are those seeds I have? So I had them around here somewhere. I got two, and I put one in the terrarium. Hmm. All right. No bother. Well, we will. I've obviously left them lying around somewhere. Now oh, let's take that and stick that in the research the research container. Lovely. Now where are the seeds gone? They're still. They're not still on here, are they? No. All right. Let me take Spalarite off and put it. Put it over here, just so we can take it off my... I know my base is an absolute mess, I need to get around to fixing this. Whoops. Let's take Svalorite off, take that off. Uh, the packager I'll keep, because that's quite useful. Okay, oh, we'll, take the t we'll definitely take the tethers. And a couple of oxygen filters here, temporary increase, temporary increase, meh. Alright, let's go and get the um, small shells. Uh, they're not going to mark them on the map anymore, I think they've given us a little hand to start off with, and so now we're basically on our own. In terms of collecting shells, I guess. I guess. These things look quite new. These are the other shells, perhaps? Yeah. Am I just. I don't know exactly. Uh, let's take a quick look. Shells. Oh, right. Okay. I'm, I'm being a bit of an idiot here. So. The name, uh, the clues in the name, DeSolo is snails found on DeSolo. Obviously, Calador is snails found on Calador. So I don't need to collect any more snails or shells from Silver, the planet I'm on. I need to go to DeSolo and Corridor. DeSolo is uh, the moon of the, the planet I'm on now. So I think we're all we're all sorted there. Now what I need to do is uh, feed my gastropod a seed. So what I'll do then is I'll take the tractor back out to where we were previously, have a quick poke around there and um, pick up what I left behind as well. All right, let's do that very quickly. All right. I want to get some seeds for the um, for my snow. All right, so it's just approximately along here, isn't it? Heading towards the mountains, and it was just this sort of area. This thing is slow. Yeah, there we go. Very impressive platform. I'll go and grab some seeds. I'm assuming this is what it likes eating. I've got some clay here. That's quite useful. All right, let's take that. Uh, stick it. Oh, no, we don't put it on there. I want to put it on the back one. And we'll take back our storage, which you brought with us. Let's go and grab that quickly. Clay here is, can be quite useful later on. Clay you can get from the soil centrifuge. In fact, you can get most things from the soil centrifuge. It's actually really, really handy. One of those really good things. All right. Okay, let's go and get more seeds. Uh, there's one here. Oh, that's a research sample. Um, go and grab some more plants. Give the thing some food to eat. And we'll get some rewards instead, which is very nice. All right, grab this one as well. Okay. Grab all those up. Beautiful. All right, let's head back. Now, a bit later on in the game, you get a um, hoverboard, an, an airboard hoverboard thing, which is absolutely fantastic. It's really good for moving around very quickly. It doesn't keep you supplied with oxygen like the like the tractor does uh, or the rovers, but it's really good for getting just moving moving around very quickly, picking stuff up, just shooting back again. So it's something that's uh, really worth channeling for if you can, and we'll get the opportunity to do that very soon. All right, so I need to flatten this out so it's not such a drag to bring the tractor over. All right, kind of miles away, but that's fine. So how do we feed it? Is this door open now? I'm assuming this door is... No? Okay. So how do we, how do we feed it? That's the question. Let's find out. Stick that on here. No. Um there. So do we put it in... A, oh, it's back in the terrarium. Got it. Got it, got it, got it. There you go. Oh, he's happy with that. Loves it. Loves it. Alright, I'm not going to leave him over here. That's a bit rubbish. So um, I feel bad about uh, keeping him in a glass jar, quite frankly. But uh, there we go. Let's put him there. Next to the, the tune. No? Is that, is that not on top anymore? No, it doesn't. Okay. So we'll, we'll put a couple of these pods down here so we know that we can feed him 
a little bit easily. Now, is there some kind of timer on here? Gaze. Greatly illuminates an area. Okay, so at night this will light up. That's interesting. Okay. That's, uh, that's pretty cool. Right, so... I get one of these nice uh, power generators, which are absolutely useful. So, so useful. Stick that on the back, and that can generate power for us or anything that we come across, so it's extremely good. All right, so that's that done. So the shells will come back to arm yourself, master of unboxing, unlock an exo research aid unit. Hmm, okay. Uh, unlock and print a packager. Departs unknown. Talking tungsten. Gather lithium. That's, we can't do that on this planet, but... Uh, unlock power cells, uh, glow sticks and dynamite, lights in the distance, discovery gateway chamber. Okay. Now, how many... Let me just see how many um, bites do we have. 1882. Okay, so the what we need to do, we need to keep this thing fed, the, the research chamber. So what I'm going to do is just basically go around with my tractor and gather up a couple more of these research samples. Now what I'd like to do is print another tractor actually, another trailer, sorry, uh, which is the small printer I believe. Uh, trailer, one aluminium and one compound. Right, so laterite comes from the caves for the aluminium and the compound is here. So I think we're gonna have to go down and grab some laterite once more. Okay, so we'll go down, down here. We have some tethers. Whee. Oops. Let me just smooth that out a bit. So every time I come down here, I do this. So let me just smooth this. That'll do. All right. Okay. So down we go. Now the the so sphalerite was over here. I'm going to do some laterites over in this direction because we haven't really done much over here. It's kind of untouched. Ooh, bit of a dead end. That's interesting. I wonder if we can um, go over here. So make sure these caves are so enclosed. There's a gap there. Exploit them. Oh, oh dear. Just get, get ourselves out of that one. Let's sort that out first. Don't like that at all. Uh, yeah, we're going to build a. Oops, build a. Hang on, let's lock it onto that one. Nope, that's not working properly. Right, let's just find a level that we're happy with and uh, save that. Something like this. There we go. Alright, let's going to smooth that down. Okay, that works. Right, let's get a tether down as well. Perfect. Mm, don't like that at all. Let's get that like so. There you go. Beautiful. Alright. So we've got some... I'm not seeing any laterite down here. Oh, that didn't connect. I need to go, I need to create a work light for myself. Uh, it's a little thing that goes on the back here, and it's incredibly bright. It's actually quite useful. I see some interesting things here. Ah, oh, there we go. There's some laterite right over there. Perfect. It's that bluish, bluish colour. I'm out of tethers, but that's okay. Is that all junk? Looks like it's all junk. Right. That's right, I mean, it's an aluminium. I'm going to dig more than I need because obviously it's not near, so. Looks like I'm out of space. Sphalerite, we've got some. S yep, packager. Mm, do you know what? I'm not that bothered about the packager. I'm going to grab another one of those while I'm here. Alright, good. That works for me. And we've put some tethers here so we know how to get back here should we need to. So that's excellent. Let's, let's head on back. Ah, uh, the box. We'll take that box. Now, these boxes can be blown up with dynamite, and they have um, exo 
exo things inside. I can't remember exactly what, what, what they're called, but they're not the easiest of things to, to move. So let's just uh, kind of go with it for now. Very, very heavy. Oops. So what I can do, I can blow them up. Now, there was some dynamite over at that large uh, landing pad ruins that I found. I didn't pick it up and bring it back with me, but that's how you open these things up. And they they release three to three to five kind of exo exo units. I think they're called. I can't exactly what they're called, but uh, let's get them through here. This is gonna be a bit of a squeeze, squash and a squeeze. Okay. Uh, which way up is it? Yeah, it's this way. It's a bit, it's a bit clumsy right now. Now, what I must do is um, switch my graphics to borderless window, which I've been told will stop the cursor from straying off this monitor, uh, which is what that that sort of Windows noise you hear is. All right, let's head back up here. This is just a bit fiddly, but it's probably the quickest way of doing this. Means I haven't got to come back. I can do it all now. There we go. I don't think I've brought any dynamite back with me yet. Okay, there we go. Right, so we're going to put the... Let's smelt a couple of these. So I've put them in here, queued up, ready to go. There's nothing else you do with that right, I don't believe. Um, so we can have that sort of queued up and ready to go. This phalarite gets turned into zinc, so I'm going to just put that down here. Compound I've got ready to go for the tractor, and we'll put this just over there. And then we'll, we can make, uh, make another trailer, then we'll go off for a wander with this thing. Uh, collect up some uh, lab specimens which are going to fit in here, because at the moment 2166 is not an awful lot, and there's lots of things that we want to unlock. There you go, it's got one. There you go. Right, so let's go to here and make a trailer. That easy. So let's take a quick look at what else we can make. So I think it's a medium printer that you used to make the buggy with. So where's the buggy? A well, medium generator would be quite nice. Rover seat. Tractor trailer, medium buggy horn. It's one of these somewhere here. Rover seat. Oh, maybe. Is it a large printer to make the rover with? Um, buggy. There you go. One compound, one aluminium. I'm tempted to go for that because it's significantly faster than the than the tractor. So it's going to need uh, a medium printer, which is what we have here. Oops. So if we just get that queued up, ready to go with the buggy. One aluminium, one compound, which is exactly what we have got smelting up here. So one aluminium and one compound, which is over here. Beautiful. And we'll get that running as well. Might have a bit of a power issue. That's going to need a rover seat, which is the next thing that we'll do with um, with the small printer. Yeah, so as you can see, this yellow line here is very small, which means that we have got a power problem. So we are going to have to take the generator, the small generator from here. Which doesn't see, this doesn't seem to be as much power, which is great. And I'll stick it in. I'll plug it in over here so we can boost, boost the power from this section. Oops. Okay, so that should make everything go a little bit faster. This yellow yellow line is wider now, which means that we're getting more power. Alright, so this appears to have been done. That's another trailer, which is great. So let's stick that on. Let's turn that around and expand it up. Okay, let's plug that in. Alright, now I just want to, while we're here, quickly level this up a little bit. better. It's not ideal, but it's better. Perfect. Alright. The buggy's almost getting done. Let's get the small printer to make a rover seat. I don't quite know how to do that. Let's have a quick look. It's too compound. 
that I have the stuff here. It's relatively straightforward, so let's do that. Because um, unlike the tractor, when you make a, a buggy, you've got to build a, a seat as well. So let's unpack that. Because as it stands, you can't you can't sit on it. It's nothing, but we can do that here. There we go. Ready to rock. Now, what I'll do is I'll put this thing on it to give it a bit of power. But ideally, we want some kind of power source on here. So probably um, probably a solar or wind, or solar and wind, and maybe a little battery on here as well. Now, in order to build those, I think I could do that on my backpack. A small battery. That's quite useful. What do I need? I need zinc for that. That's great because you've got tons of sphalerite right over here. Let's do that. I am actually have some zinc ready to go in this section here. Maybe it's just that's just the sphalerite itself. Okay. Hello, how are you doing? You hungry? Doesn't look like it. Alright. So a battery and um, solar or a battery and wind on here, I think will will be the right thing to do. Alright, good. Let's do that. Um, on here, small battery. This tends to build very quickly, which is nice. Alright. Let's bang that on there. <clears throat> Oops, wrong place. On there. And um, now a small a small wind or maybe a small generator. Hmm. No, I want wind or solar, which I don't believe is on here. I think that's probably on the small printer. Oh, we've gone over time. We have to wrap this up. Let's just uh, find this here. I may have to research it, actually. I'm going to have to research it. So, uh, small printer. Could be one of these here somewhere. I do wish there was a, a search option here. Medium solar panel. Copper and glass. I don't have enough. And that's why I need to... That is why I need to go and find some of these research samples. Um, what I'll do, I'll put myself another small generator on here. Oops, small generator which needs compound, of course. Everything needs compound. I don't think I have any compound. No compound. All right, I'll have to go and find some compound, which is going to be around here somewhere. Was there some down here? Or was it the other hole? I can't remember. Never mind. I think we're going to have to leave that for the next episode. And um, just to remind myself, uh, what I need to do next is put on a medium generator on here. I could put this on here for now, but this is a constant power supply source. And I don't really need that for this. It's just be a bit of a waste. So, um, yeah, so uh, a small generator is what I need to do before I go off and get more research samples. All right, we're going to leave it there. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, any uh, tips, tricks, hints, or anything that I'm not doing particularly well, then please do let me know. I'm always up for learning. And I'm glad we managed to uh, unlock the, um, the snail. That's... That's cute, if nothing else. Apparently it does give you some, some nice rewards at some point, so... Oops, sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> Let's put that down properly. There we go. Anyway, you took care of yourself. Um, hopefully I'll be back soon for the next episode uh, of this Astroneer run-through. In the meantime, this is Bug, putting the plug.